Hi there, this is Matthew Connor, Vice President of ERP Solutions at Peloton. Today, we're going to show you how to run a, a financial reporting center report and what sort of capabilities are available to you from running a financial report center report. You access your financial report center reports from the financial report center on your main login screen. Now, the real advantage we've talked about in other videos is that the database for the general ledger is SBase, Extended Spreadsheet Database, Pivot Tables on Steroids. And the reason this is, is an advantage is because what you're able to do is um, have your data aggregated all the time. So in essence, what's happening is you are at the mercy of your uh, network connection refreshing to see your data so you're able to slice and dice the data in real time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and to run the report all we have to do is click on our report name. Some reports may have a prompt. In this case we're prompting by the ledger. So when you build these reports, you can define whether you want to prompt by legal entity, if you want to prompt it for a specific period, that's really the choice of how you build the reports. We'll also talk about some of the best practices around building reports as we go through. So now I have this USA rolling 12 month income statement report. Across the top, I've actually indicated this is one of my favorite reports because I want to do that. I don't want to remove this. If I'm using social, I could use social to have some conversations around this report and do this. There's also the ability to use annotations, which we'll show in just a minute as well. Um, over here on the left, we have the default, which is the interactive HTML preview. This is the method I recommend most all of our customers utilize as they are um, working with the reports in the system. Now, there's also different oppor opportunities to utilize other formats. We can use this in PDF. We can export this in Excel where it's static. You just get what the data is here on this report. We can also export in query ready mode, which exports to the SmartView plugin within Excel. We can export this to Word and PowerPoint. So really powerful types of functionality. Um, we can also show annotations, which I'll show in a second. Refresh, so if you've changed the um, point of view and you want to refresh the data or you want to make sure that, hey, you're doing this at month end, you want to refresh it to pull in the most current data, that does that. And then respond to prompt. So that prompt, if you're in there and you want to change that without closing the report, going back in, you can do that. So let's show real quick the annotation functionality. So annotations are essentially commentary for the report. So this is something you could be adding, having a financial analyst go in and add commentary around, hey, here's the reason this number went up or went up and went down by that. So that's done here. We can click on annotation, add that. That's captured and its security is based on what you're doing with the point of view there. So we'll go ahead and close that. Now, across the top, we have the point of view. And the point of view is the single most powerful feature. And this is where when we're moving customers from legacy reports where maybe they had 10 or 15 reports to do this, the point of view gives you that slice and dice pivot table type of activity here. Um, so in this case, we can switch by any of these here. We have accounting period, company, cost center, product, balance amount, um, amount type, uh, currency, currency type. Um, in this in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch because I also want to show you how these reports, if you build them correctly, are dynamic. Um, we've seen some customers that were implemented by other partners where they hard coded this, so they're not they're static reports, they're not dynamic. We want them to be dynamic. So let's just instead of looking at um, September or August, let's look at September. I click on this, I click OK. And in essence, the second, the, the amount of time it takes for me to refresh my network, I have my report. This is that advantage, pre-aggregated data at every intersection of the database there. So you'll also see that the report itself adjusted. So this rolling uh, came in and did this. Now, one of the concepts we have is pages. In this case, we only have one ledger. Often I use pages as a function for like maybe cost center. I have a cost center. Um, p and and I might have pages so different people can see what they, they need to from there. The other thing we see here is we have the ability to expand. So if I expand, this allows us to have sort of a, a summary level, but also see that detail, right? So I don't have to see all of the detail there. I can see it only if I need to. The other really powerful feature here is it's not static, right? If I click on this, I now get the choice to drill to my uh, account inspector 
or drill to my detailed balances. So I can actually see the data that makes up that balance. So really powerful functionality that allows you. So now I'm able to come in here, I'll use my uh, inquiry on detailed balances, see all this. These are the actual balances that make up that account. So fantastic, fantastic functionality that it's not just a static report. What it is, is we get the ability then to see the detail associated with a report. So that is running a financial report and inquiring on the detailed balances. This is Matthew Connor, Vice President of ERP Solutions at Peloton. Thank you for joining us today.